it's Angela Prophet, and you're tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV. Today's tip is all about trusting your photographer. And I kind of chuckle as I say that because even doing this over a decade, for some reason, I still work with lots and lots of photographers, which is great. Some of them are great and some of them are not so great. Some of them are brand new. They just got a camera for Christmas and they're just trying out the industry. Well, in my age and at the point that I am in my career, I'm not really interested in working with people who are trying it out because I do this full time, it's my life. So I'll share a story with you. One of my brides was heavily pushed to use her cousin for her wedding. And I had specifically asked her, has your cousin shot weddings? She said, oh yeah, she shot a few weddings. It's no big deal. She was all laid back about it. She was fine with it. Again, I kind of have a weird sense of even using friends and family. So at the final timeline meeting, I walked through everything. Her photographer slash cousin was very engaged, talking through the timeline, so I felt pretty good about it. I asked if she had a website. She didn't have a website, but she did have some stuff up on social media, which is, I guess, socially acceptable these days. And her pictures looked good, but they were all taken outside in the daylight. And we all know that when the lighting's great outside in the day, Anybody can take a picture and make it look good, especially with the filters that we have on our phones these days. I can't take pictures with crap, and even I can do it. So it's not that hard. But again, when you're shooting your wedding, you don't want to do it all over again. And I stress that to this client over and over. So the wedding comes, and I was literally having to tell the photographer, um, you might want to come over here and get this, and you might want to come over here and get that. So I felt like a babysitter rather than a planner and a designer making sure that what I was hired to do was actually getting done. She had her shoes off the entire time. Now it was an outdoor wedding in front of a beautiful mansion, but the reception was inside. And she still kept her shoes off the whole time, which I thought was a bit weird. She cared more about being at the bar, talking with the vendors, talking to promote herself at a wedding and then talking to the guests because she knew most of them. And so again, I was worried that she was not getting what she should be getting. So again, the entire day and night, I'm running around making sure that she's getting what she should be getting. So at the reception, she had a flash. I assumed she knew how to work her camera. Again, it's not my job to ask her that. But of course I get the phone call, the dreadful phone call, two, three months later from the bride crying, telling me how horrible the pictures were and I was right, she should have listened to me, she shouldn't have hired family and friends. And come to find out, she had only shot one other wedding for a family member that was 40 people. And this was about 230 people. So it's a way, way big difference. And so as she's crying, you know, I'm thinking, how can I fix this, right? Can't recreate everything. But what I could offer is for her to hire an experienced photographer, get dressed up, back in her dress, get the, dro get the groom dressed back up too, go out, go back to where the reception and where the wedding was, and recreate some of those pictures. So that's what they ended up doing, but they didn't have their wedding party, they didn't have their family. So if I could only have her voice every single time, girls or guys are asking me, what should I do about photography? I have this family, I have this friend, they do it on the side. I just kind of cringe because of moments like that. It's like reliving a horror story and that's all you have left at the end of the day is pictures because not everyone gets video. So be sure that you know your photographer and you trust your photographer and you might have a great family friend that does it professionally and that's awesome, but be sure that they're engaged in what they're there to do that day and that's to capture your story. Did you like this video? If you did, like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can even leave me a comment, and if you have a wedding planning question, send it my way. If you want even more great resources to create a productive and profitable wedding planning business, plus some email updates from me that I only talk about in my email, come on over to my website, angelaprofit.com, and be sure to sign up for email updates. Thank you so much for tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV.